Now, what Satan wants more than anything else, because I had somebody ask me this, and it's a good question because, first of all, you know, number one, Satan does know his end. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's important for you to understand. He's not unaware. He doesn't actually believe he'll win. No, yeah. So now he that doesn't prevent him from wanting you to believe that he can win. Right, right, right. And you to surrender. But what, what he wants is he, he's willing to, to sell out um, the eternal for the temporary. Sure. Um, and that's what he sells us on is the same thing. Sure. You know, live for this life, live for what you got. But what he wants more than anything else is worship. That's what he wants. He yeah. wants to be worshiped. He wants, in fact, when you look at the temptation of Jesus, when, when Satan tempts him after Jesus has been fasting for 40 days in the desert, really what he does every single time at every corner, he asks him to bow down to worship him, yeah. to worship him. And so he wants to be worshiped. He wants fame. He wants glory. He wants acclaim. And, and, and let me, let me say this. It's not really talking about like what you find in the temple of Satan and all that stuff. It's it's not sure. it's not devil worship like that. It's not about it's not about some weird dude wearing a black coat running around with like samurai swords and stuff. It's not <laughs> that's not really what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is is that Satan receives worship when you do what he did. Yeah. So so Jesus is it, Jesus receives worship when we do what he did. When we were a, when we are a f reflection, reflection of God, yeah. then we are worshiping God. Um, Satan is is worshiped when we're a reflection of him, when we are self-centered, self-absorbed, when we love things more than we love God or people, then we're we're paying worship to him. And he loves that. If you go down the same road, he's going. Follow Jesus calls us, he says, come and follow me. That's an active act of worship. Satan calls you to come and follow him. So when you do the things that he did, when you sell it to the things he sells out to, you you pay him worship. And he wants that. And he and he'll take that and thwarting all of God's creation, he'll take that in the short term in trade for the fact that ultimately he's going to be a hundred percent. Well, I think it's like we talked about this weekend. It's where it's where his pride and his wisdom run into each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like his wisdom says there's no way you can win this battle, but his pride says, keep going.